Hi everyone and welcome back to today's Morning Report with me Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantech Markets for Monday the 14th of April. I'm going to look at dollar yen now and uh, there seems to be a battle that is going on with dollar yen at the moment. Certainly the um, the flight to safety would suggest uh, a move to safe haven assets as um, as it uh, suggests and the uh, that would also imply that the yen would strengthen on the back of that but also that you're getting a dollar strengthening today as well. So. There is slightly a, a battle, as I said, going on in this chart, but um, what we've seen in the past week is a retreat back down towards the bottom of this um, this trend, this trading trend channel that we've been in for the past 10 weeks. But the last couple of days have suggested that maybe that there is some support at the bottom of this trend channel, and the uh, momentum indicators still not really uh, suggesting there's going to be a big breakdown. Um, the RSI is still finding support around about that 40 mark, um, and the stochastics beginning to turn up as well. MACD lines are not excessively corrective either, so an uh, interesting lack of uh, momentum suggesting there. Uh, but also on the intraday chart. Here we go, zoomed in a little bit more. Uh, the support comes in around 101.31, uh, and you've got a couple of higher lows in that as well. So tests are beginning to uh, find support around uh, every time you dip below that 101.40 mark, you s the, the buying pressure begins to come in again. Also, the thing I'm finding interesting about this chart is these improving momentum indicators as well. The uh, the RSI. Um, is sort of towards uh, pu pushing back above 50, which is uh, a positive. Also, these MACD lines as well, sort of, you have got this arguably a base pattern in process here, so, and uh, they're not, um, certainly they're not supporting of this uh, this push to the new low. I think that you've got this divergence here and here with the uh, the failure to see new lows on the MACD and the RSI as well. So interesting that uh, that has happened. Um, in the uh, early European trading, you've found support for the dollar and it's beginning to try and push higher. If it can break above that 101. 86 mark I think uh, you'd start to think about a recovery certainly towards the top of this trading band at 102.15 uh, so uh, just uh, be looking out for that and 101.97 as well I think is probably quite a key mark within this uh, within this trading trend channel as well so um, any sort of move above these uh, moving averages would suggest an improving outlook again and uh, that would also improve the RSI quite significantly as well. So I think um, the dollar is battling hard, uh, it needs to hold on to this, um, as I said, it needs to hold on to these levels to prevent a, a, a big sell-off, uh, I think, and a, and a move arguably back even towards uh, the 97 mark, which... Uh, would potentially be the case uh, but as I said at the moment we're holding on to the bottom of this trend channel also you've got this uh, 144 day moving average which is a fairly reasonable basis of support as well so just uh, just bear in mind all these factors uh, t when you're trading today and um, also bear in mind the uh, retail sales at 130 for the US as well so they could have an impact certainly a strong number would su suggest that's uh, dollar positive and that could drag dollar yen higher Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading, and I will speak to you later. Thank you.